Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movies 87 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Let's head on through more of the Geno Dome. Uh, apparently, this is where Robo was created, but we'll find out more about that uh, later. But I'll just tell you that for right now. Uh, a little bit of a summary here, real quick. Last episode, we did a little bit of things, a couple of things here, real quick. Went through the uh, conveyor belt of monsters here to get to uh, the central factory here. Uh, talked to the computer here, got some info about the factory. Uh, biggest thing was uh, these panels here, which I'll show off real quick. Let's Robo be electrified. So pretty much you run in there and you'll use that to um, power the various doors around here. Like uh, this one right here. Well, that one's actually unlocked for right now. I'll show that one off proper here in a sec. Yeah, so we'll have to run around here a couple of times with Robo electrified. That's unlocked various doors throughout the uh, Geno Dome here. And some of these ones have a bit of a uh, tight timeline to them. But nothing we can't handle. Let's see here. I also need to heal up heal up Robo's MP. Um, oh yeah, as a reminder for the training I did earlier off camera, I only fought the uh, conveyor belt battles one more time through. I got uh, Robo, his shock tech, and Luca picked up Flare there. Uh, Ayla will be around soon enough to work on triple kick, don't worry. Yeah, so for right now, that door is locked because we can't open the... Well, we can't open it because the uh, socket here or whatever, or pod, I guess it's called, is locked. So to unlock it here, I'm going to press the third and the first switch there, and voila! So yeah, so we'll double on back here real quick, get Robo all shocked up. This has to be this own electricity here, not just his own electricity, because he has shot. But can't, I'm not sure why we can't just use that, but yeah, whatever. But anyway, we saw up there, there was the other uh, first doll. There are two of them around here we'll have to collect. The other one is over there. But uh, that sentry robot's still on the way. We'll have to find his counterpart soon enough to uh, get past that. Let's see. Oh, cool. Uh, thanks for that. Um, what's actually in here? I don't remember. Well, let's see. Ooh, some treasure. Okay, well, I'll partake while I'm here for sure. Uh, let's just go... It's only the one, so we'll go Robo Tackle, uh, Lightning 2, and Ice. Now, if I were fighting a lot more of these guys, I would probably use Robo Shock Tech, actually. It's even more powerful than Magus' Lightning 2. I was seeing it do almost 2,000 damage to all enemies in this part here. It's obscenely good for Robo there. It does take 17 MP to use, which is quite a lot... But in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Not sure why there's 50 grand right there. It seems very random, but whatever. Let's see. I'll fight this battle here real quick. Just so they're out of the way here, really. More of these uh, debuggers things. Uh, let's actually show off Robo Shock here. With Matt Shock! Now, I think also this, this combines with Chrono's Lightning 2 to make, uh, I think it's called Double Volt. So, really, really powerful dual tech between them I'll show off eventually, if I remember. Let's see here. So, oh yeah, the little light over here is the dust chute. That's how you escape out of this part here if you want to. But I don't want to for right now. Let's see. Well, that was over there from before. Yeah, here's your conveyor belt here as well. That uh, We can reverse the direction on it here eventually, but not yet. Um, there's also a pod right here. I want to open that for right now, but I don't think we can actually unlock this one, um, with the conveyor belt being down here. We don't have enough time to actually get there, unfortunately. Let's see. Okay, got a side room over here with some more treasure and more monsters. Yeah, these guys, normally annoying, but yeah, with shock, they're, they're a one shot. At least if, if, if you've been powering up Robo's magic stat like I've been doing there. Even if you have it, it's still really, really powerful. Alrighty, there we go. Let's see what we got over here. Ooh, a Lapis. Nice. And an Elixir. Even more nice. Let's see. So, Ayla's already on 45. You're almost on 45, Luca. Yeah, as really as far as levels go, I don't really care that that much. I mean, we're all relatively balanced there anyhow, like 44, 45, so that's all good. Uh, yeah, tets are really where it's at right now. Although I am almost done with done with all my tets for everyone anyway. Magus just now needs uh, Dark Matter and Ayla needs um, Triple Kick. Ooh, got a save point here. Nice. 
go ahead and get a shelter going while I'm here. I did also fly back to the uh, Bangor Dome or Aris Dome, whichever one had the shop there, um, and bought some shelters off camera. Now, I don't want to go down and left fully here yet, because uh, that'll lead to more plot progression that I don't want to do quite yet. I want to keep exploring the Geno Dome here first. Oh, yeah, I think. Well, I didn't go over these guys earlier. Laser Guard here, if I didn't fight them earlier. Well, no, actually, I did. Um, they're very, very weak. Just no lightning to the mages, and you're fine. Nothing we can't handle there. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, a Lapis. Nice. But yeah, I'm gonna go over this away here first. Hmm? Oh, well, I mean, you're not wrong. But, like, we were here first. We were fighting to survive. You know how they say in Xenoblade 3, you uh, fight, to, fight to live, live to fight? Well, we don't really want to do the other part there. <laughs> really? We, we just want to live. But no, of course, robots are superior. We are the better being. You are humans. You are made of flesh and so on, so on, whatever. Uh, more robots here, so we'll take them out here. Why did you laser yourself? Oh, I see. That might actually... No, never mind. Well, you killed your friend there to do minimal damage to us, so was it really worth it? I don't know if it was. But hey, made my made my life easier, so I won't complain one bit. Ooh, got a barrier there. I never use barriers. They're just not really that useful. I mean, they could be. Same with the shield item there, but it's like, eh. Oh, hmm? Oh, what were you doing over there by yourself? Oh, now you're over here. Guys, you can, you can stop running now. Thanks. I don't know why they do that sometimes. It's so weird. Anyway, yeah, let's go shot. Really, yeah, shot will one-shot, like, everything around here. So just spam that the entire time. Make your life a little bit easier here while, while you're going through the area. You may as well, too, because you can't take Robo out of your party while you're here, so... Alrighty, there we go. Alrighty, so first off, let's go ahead and turn off the switch here. That'll deactivate the barrier there, so it makes it a little bit uh, quicker travel back and forth. And go around this way. Aha, I got the conveyor belt switched around there now. Nice. See, now it'll be a lot easier to get up to the uh, to that other doorway there I passed up from before. So yeah, we'll loop back around here. Get all shocked up there again. And yeah, as a reminder, here's where the other... Uh, Century is with the uh, with the doll there. Not sure why it's there, but whatever. Yeah, for this one here, you still gotta be kind of quick. Because, yeah, again, the shot thing here is limited for Robo. It, it will wear off after so much time. But, uh, and... Okay, there we go. And, yeah, there's the uh, other Century doll here. He'll, he'll just follow you around once you pick him up here, so... Or at least he kind of will. Yeah, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. So yeah, a little bit of an escort quest here, but this one is actually very easy, thankfully. Yeah, we'll just uh, wait for him to hop on the belt here with us. And yeah, he'll get stuck on some things here and there, but like, by and large, he'll still follow you to a T. So, there we go. Come on, little buddy. You're almost there. Come on. Come on. There you go. Who's our dread robot? I'm talking to my dodge, it sounds like. I pretty much do talk to them like that anyway. But, I mean, who doesn't, right? I do love my dogs. They're already 9 and 8 years old. It's crazy. Hey, oh, come on, you. Almost there. See, I just get them all the way up to the front here. But there we go. Aha! And for whatever reason, yeah, they short each other out there, so now we can get past. And get the other doll there while we're here. Nice. Alright, so now I want to go ahead and go back to where I was before. Um, just elevator or up here. Doesn't really matter either way, I suppose. Although I think the elevator from the other part there may have been a bit quicker. Eh, whatever. We'll just dart on, dart on through here real quick. And um, I will actually want to get healed up here again real quick. Oh, no, 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 no. Game. I want to go to my menu. There we go. And shelter up. There we go. Okay, nothing else around here, so let's keep on... Go... Wait? 
Oh, hi. Uh, pink robot. That was a cool ribbon you got there. Reminds me of the uh, cute ribbon from Lunar 2. Oh, your name's Atropos. Is there some relation in the names between Atropos and Prometheus, like in real life? What do you mean, pretending? Hmm? What do you mean, special task? Hmm? Betrayal! Or at least it sounds like uh, such anyway. Hmm? What do you, I, I don't want to see your mother. She's been yelling at us so far. Hmm? Uh, Robo, you Whoa! Aggressive, are we? Or aren't we? Yeah, he's on our side. You know, Luca fits him. You say that, but it's three on one, so I don't like your odds here. What are you... Are you laughing? I can't really tell. Uh, Prometheus is a kind of a dumb name. I'm gonna go with... Ow! How dare you punch him in the face? Oh, one on one? Okay, I'm cool with it. Hmm? Okay, you can stop yelling, guys. You're right next to each other here. For boss time against Atropos XR! Alright, so really? This fight just uh, spam Uzi Punch the entire time? And then whenever he needs a heal, just use Gear Beam and you're good to go. With it being a one on one fight, this fight is not very hard at all. Now, I think as the fight goes on, Atropos will get stronger. She'll start using, like, her, her own Robo Tackle and her own Cure Beam. But, like, it's. They don't really do that much. Like, here, yeah, 300 health. That's literally nothing besides. Okay, in comparison to Uzi Punch, which is doing almost 1200. So, I think we'll be okay. Oh, Laser Spin, too. We have all the same Texas Robo does, apparently. But can you block? Well, actually, I, I don't think she can, you know. If I wanted to, I could go Shock here. And actually, I may just do that for some, for some style points here. Ow! Okay, I'll... Well, I'll heal up here first. Damn. Didn't mean to insult you that much there, Atropos. Didn't think I'd do that much damage. Yeah, you just keep on healing yourself. I do not really care. Uh, let's go... Um, no, we'll do a double Uzi Punch here. I don't have enough MP for Shock and Uzi Punch, unfortunately. That might... That did less than Robo Tackle? Really? Odd. Or Atropos Tackle, I guess it would be, would be called. Oh. Hey, I won! Yay! Nice cheap shot explosion there. I hate when bosses do that. Oh, are you back to normal now? Oh, I guess yeah, the uh, mother brain or whatever kind of wiped out your circuits there or whatnot. Or your memory bank, to use a more apt term there. Thank you. I wonder then, actually, who built the whole Geno Dome here anyway? And then, also, who created the uh, mother around here? I really don't know. Now, I wonder here, actually, I don't recall for sure, if we had Luca in tow, if she'd have more dialogue here, actually. Like, wait, I can fix you. Why did you disappear? Oh, but anyway, we did her ribbon here to give Robo a permanent uh, plus three speed and plus ten magic defense there. Nice! So, Robo now has 15 speed now. That is so, so, so huge for him. That's also why I kept the speed moderately low. As in, I haven't given him every single speed tab I found in, in the entire game. What I'm trying to say there, really. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. Hmm? Oh. I didn't really mean to do that quite right now. I was, I was trying to at least show that off, but... Oh, cool. Ooh, a mega elixir. Nice. I will probably never use that. <laughs> oh, hmm? Oh, you again. What? 
What do you mean Lavos' children? Do you mean a spawn? Oh, well, yeah, I guess. But we'd rather just, you know, kill them so we could, uh, you know, live in peace. Oh, don't say the P word. Do not say the P word. By that, I mean paradise. I have traumatic flashbacks to Trails in the Sky the Third. If you know, you know. And I'd rather not know that because that shit is dark. Let's see. Uh, I forget. There's a couple of different ways we can go from here. Oh, I want to see here, just real quick with these laser guards. I want to charm them, actually. I don't think it's these things. It's something else similar to them later on that I can steal something good from. Oh, did that cancel out Ayla's turn? I, can I have a turn? Oh, never mind. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm just curious here. Um, okay, never mind. Yeah, there's an enemy later on that we can steal from that are similar to these guys, like I said, that uh, you'll want to steal from all of them here when you can. Not until the uh, Black Omen, though. And I'll be doing that last. Yeah, really, yeah. We're all we're just uh, gearing up for the Black Omen. That part is very, very hard. But, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, oh, hmm? oh, more of these guards. Neat. Uh, okay. Oh no, you're not. You're not Magus. You are. Yeah, Magus and Ayla are nothing alike whatsoever. In case anyone wasn't entirely sure on that. Now I'm trying to think. For that bottom door there, to the bottom right, and also the bottom left. How do I get to those? I don't remember actually. Oh, there's Black Hover Magus there. Nice. Not that I'll ever use that, though. But it's there, I suppose. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. We'll just go down this way here first. Grab this for... Ooh, 15 grand. Nice. Oh, as a reminder, I, I should just mention this. Oh. Um. Ayla. I didn't like the sound of that whatsoever. But Ayla, Ayla you might not want to do that. Oh, okay. Well, that's why we were here anyway, to, to begin with, so there we go. Um, yeah, I was, I was gonna say there, just real quick. Uh, this area is a one-time area, I believe, so make sure you grab all the chests around here before you leave. Well, uh, I'd say hopefully they'll be, they'll be okay, but we kinda already saw what happened, so... Uh... But anyway, go ahead and place the uh, two uh, dolls there. And do I need fully healed up here again or anything? Um, yeah, well, yeah, a little bit here, I suppose. MP wise, yeah, we're fine. Let's see, setup wise here, uh, Robo Ayla Magus. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine, actually. There. Hmm. Oh, what have we here? Ah, oh, triangle. Oh, hi. I assume you're the mother? Okay, okay, so you're the mother brain. Are we playing Metroid now? Uh, I'm not joining you again. God! Well, I guess technically only Ayla's human. Is Mages actually human? Well, he, no, he's, he's a mystic, I think. But are they still considered human regardless? I don't recall for sure. I love seeing how Robo loves his friends so much here. Uh, yes? Uh, not, Magus? <laughs> yeah, they're way cooler than you. They don't try to kill us like you do. Or, well, you're about to do, I suppose. Uh, yeah? Oh, well, you seem pretty sure of yourself. For boss time! Alrighty, so I want to have Ayla charm from all these things here first. I also will want to take out those back panels here, because they'll keep healing the mother brain as we go. If I didn't have a turn here, please. Game, if I didn't have a turn. Somebody, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to charm for the panels here first, or whatever they're the, I think they're, they're called displays. 
Because I, thi I think they have stuff to steal, don't they? Yes, they do! Alright, so let's go after them one at a time here. I don't think they have too much health. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, okay, good thing I didn't have him attacked there. That would have one-shot the other display there. Oh, don't chaos him. Oh, he has the moon armor. He's... Never mind. Moon armor doesn't prevent status ailments. The Nova armor does. I knew that. Uh, let's go and get Robo healed up then. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to charm the yeah, displays here first and then just go after them one at a time here once they're uh, once they're charmed. And then Mother Brain. Standard stuff there, really. We all know the drill by now. Uh, Uzi Punch, Lightning 2, Shock, Triple Kick, Rock Throw, Luminaire, uh, Frenzy, or Confuse, uh, Ice 2, Flare, Leap Slash. I mean, yeah, we all know how this goes by now. <laughs> Let's see, Mother Brain has a lot of health. Not sure how much exactly, but uh, nothing we can't handle. Yeah, once the displays are out of here, yeah, we've pretty much already, well, made the fight a lot easier, I will say. Let's see. Now, with her being a machine, I assume she's weak to lightning here. We'll find out for sure. Let's see. Mm, okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, that might hurt a tad. Maybe. Okay, that didn't really do anything. I like that. Okay, but anyway, we'll, yeah, we'll go Uzi Punch here next. I don't know if Rock Throw will work, but I want to try it here anyway, just because I'm curious. Uh, we'll go Dark Mist here. Uh, nope, it'll miss. Okay. Yeah, I guess he's not really a physical being or whatever, just like a uh, display or image or what have you. So, yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay, you just gotta keep on doing that laser show there. It's it's cool, yes, but oh, that's not powerful. Okay, never mind. Uh, Robo, if you get us healed up here, please. Ayla, if I had triple kick, I would use it, but I don't, so I won't, and I can't, and I suck, I know. But whatever. Well, okay, well, not bad, Ayla, for only 3 MP. Yeah, I think really at this point I'll just keep Ayla in the party until I have triple kick. Because uh, it is oh so useful. Oh, we are sealed, and that's no bueno. Um, okay, uh, may just you go for Dark Mist here on her. Uh, okay, that's, that's getting more and more powerful. Can you stop that? Okay, what did Robo heal up? Okay, oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Okay, oh, is that getting, it's getting weaker as I go? That's weird. But yeah, anyway, Uzi Punch here next. Uh, I guess I'll go physical attacks now? She's being weird with, her, weird with her defense here, so, uh... Yeah, let me fix that here. Oh, don't chaos him again. Oh, cool, you didn't. Nice, thanks. Now to Uzi Punch and Cat Attack! Will this do more damage? Uh, Kai? Oh, hey, we won! Yay, that was easy. Level up, level up. I didn't charm her. I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm going to be bummed about that. Well, the arms here help, though, at least. Uh, what does you have to steal? I'm going to be, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to be so mad if I missed out some, on something really, really good. Uh, give me a sec here, guys. Just bear with me, please. Just want to see what she has. Oh, hey. Uh, we did her good. Yay. But what about the humans that were already kind of here? Oh, okay. Only a blue plate for the armor there. I already have one of those, so never mind. Whew. Dodged a bullet there. Hmm? Oh. You all did there, Robo? Yay. Oh, we can go back inside. Oh, okay, nope, never mind. I wasn't sure if we'd even be allowed to go back inside at all there. But, uh, well, good to know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get healed up here first. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, let's check out Robo's new arms here. Got the Terra arm, which is a, just a standard upgrade uh, from the Digger arm here. But also the Crisis arm. Now, this one, uh, this one's value, I think, just depended on Robo's, the last digit of, of his HP, I think is how it goes. I know it says attack changes below 10 HP, 
but I'm pretty sure it's actually a little bit weird how it's written there. If, if Robo has like eight for his max HP for the last digit there, or current HP, I think it actually is, um, he'll do some solid damage there. But if it's only like two or three, he'll do way less damage. Um, so I want to say that more so for boss fights, I'll stick with the Terra Arm for right now. I know, yeah, party wise here, I want to go back with Magus up top, Ayla. And I want to go with Marley here for a bit, because, yeah, she's getting behind level-wise there. Uh, okay, so we're done with that. Uh, on to the next grand adventure, which I want to go back to the Middle Ages here. Let's go after the uh, Rainbow Shell here next. There's actually only a couple more side quests here left, actually, for us to do. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, yeah. There's one I thought about doing there in the future, actually, but, uh, there is a boss fight immediately, but it takes a little while to do, so I'm going to save that here for later on. Let's shelter up here again. Uh, let's go ahead and get the power tab. I'm going to give it to Magus here, why not? Oh, there was a plus two that time, actually. Nice. Oh, actually, I don't know if there's a save point where, where, where a save point is in here. Um... Okay, I'm going to hold off on that, actually. Um, trying to think of what I can do next, actually, here. Because, yeah, there's one... There's a quest here for the Rainbow Shell at the Giant's Claw. Um, the one in the future has the, uh, the Sunstone. Um, well, the whole Sunstone quest there, I should say. Um, but, yeah, those that one's a little more involved. So, I'm going to hold off on that for right now. Let's see what all else we have left for right now here, though. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Tell us about the side quest. We know how this goes. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, so that's the uh, Sunstone. We're going to do that later. Uh, okay, yeah, Rainbow Shell. We'll be doing that here next. And that one, that, that actually pertains to Marley, but we'll find out more about that later. I'll actually probably say that one for last before the Black Omen. But anyway, okay, let's go ahead and just uh, board the epoch here again. And onward! And, uh, yeah, we'll go... Uh, I'll actually just call it an episode here, because, yeah, like, like I said, I don't know where there's a, uh, save point in the uh, Giant's Claw that we're going to, so I'll just, I'll just play on the safe side here. And, oh, there's the, uh, Black Omen here as well. Where it came from, I don't really know. But you just do your own thing there, Black Dome. And I'll tackle you here soon enough. Don't you fret. Robo? Are you a scarecrow? Oh my god, he is. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> just apparently, if you leave the different er leave the era here and come back, he'll turn, he'll turn to different things there. Or what have you. That's cool, I like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and save that in here. Oh, out here, I should say. And then we'll dive into the Giant's Claw to hopefully find the Rainbow Shell. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Mr. Moosey7 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.